In this problem, we're asked to find the angular velocity of the gate after a time of two seconds, um, given the force distribution dF that we're, which is given, um, which is a function of y and um, t. Okay. We're also given, we're also told that the gate consists of a slender rod, which is 20 kilograms, um, on which a 20 kilogram thin plate is attached to. Uh, and we're given the dimensions um, of the plates, um, A, 1.5 meters, and B, 2 meters. So the first thing we need to do is um, understand what is going on. So we have a force distribution over here um, along uh, the direction of y, um, which changes with y. Um, so changes with the distance from the top of the gate to the bottom. Okay, so you can see that this force distribution here is not even, it actually um, changes somehow with distance. Okay, um, and um, it also varies with t. Okay, um, and this is, this is because um, hydrostatic pressure changes the force from based on the depth. Um, and um, also the pump changes it with time. Um, and um, so we, what we need to do is we need to find the equivalent force that acts um, on this um, plate. Um, so this is going to be called F, and it's the equivalent force, but also the distance where this force acts, okay? Um, so that distance there um, is the distance that we need to find, okay? And um, we'll call that little distance little a, okay? Um, so this is because all of this, um, this pressure here um, creates a total force on the plate. But this total force, and so that we can just get by integrating dF, right? Um, but um, this um, total force here um, doesn't act in any location. acts in a specific location, which um, is the location where the moments are balanced um, on the top and on the bottom. But I'll talk about, more about that later. For now, let's just focus on trying to find this force here. Um, and then with this force, we can use um, impulse and momentum um, to solve for omega. Um, so um, that's why we need to figure out this force. Because um, when we draw the free body diagram of this um, bar over here, which I'll do over here, um, this free body diagram has um, force. So it's pinned at the top. So I'll just draw like a, a circle with a P. Um, this is going to be distance A, and over here we have our force F, okay, that acts um, for a specific amount of time, which is in this case is going to be two seconds, okay, and um, with this we can use impulse and momentum to solve for um, the um, omega, the final omega. Okay, so that's why we need to find that force. Okay, now let's solve for f. So we know that f is going to be the integration of df. Okay, and it's going to be the integration over the whole distance, so from y equals to 0 um, to y equals to 2. Okay, so it's going to be the integral from 0 to 2 meters and meters of df which is also equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of, and we just plug in um, this um, equation here. So negative t uh, y minus 2 squared plus 8t dy. Okay, and um, we can take out the t because t doesn't depend on y. Um, and it's in both terms of the of the integral, and we can simply integrate and get the following is equal to uh, t times the integral from zero to two 
of negative y squared uh, plus 4y uh, plus 4 dy, okay, which is also equal to uh, t times negative 1 third y cubed plus 2y squared plus 4y integrated from 0 to 2. And um, f is going to be equal to 40 over 3t. Okay, so that's the force. And again, this depends on time because this force, um, the, the time portion of it, it's dependent on the pump because the pump is not, um, it doesn't apply a constant um, input because it's an old pump. Okay, so now that we have the force, we need to find the equivalent location of the force, which is little a. Okay, um, so to find little a, um, we need to essentially use the following equation, which I'll explain in a little bit. So find a. So we have the integral from 0 to a of y df being equal the integral uh, from a to 2 of y df. Okay. Um, so what does this mean? So df is um, the infinitesimal amount of force at a location, okay? Um, and y is the location about uh, this point p here. So I forgot to draw in the coordinate system, but y is down this way, x is positive that way, okay? Um, so what we're trying to essentially find is balancing the moments um, between 0 to a. Um, so between 0 to a is, are going to be equal from a to p. And these are the moments about this point p here. Okay, um, so this is what this equation represents. Um, so we have to equate the moments on each side of the equivalent force, okay? Uh, so we can plug everything in here um, and um, solve this equation, solve the two integrals, equate them, and get the um, following. So this will be a bit long. It's, a, it's The integrals are quite long, okay? So we have, I'm going to already pull the t out because just like before, t came out of the integral because it's in every term of the integral. So we have uh, t times the integral from 0 to a of um, y times uh, negative y squared uh, plus 4y uh, plus 4 dy, um, which is equal to t times the integral from uh, a to 2 meters. Um, of y times uh, negative y squared plus 4y plus 4dy, okay? And then we uh, multiply these y's into each of these terms and this into this. Um, we can also directly cancel the t um, because it's in both sides of the equation. Uh, and we get the following integrals. The integral from 0 to a of uh, negative y cubed plus 4y squared plus 4y dy is equal to the integral from a to 2 meters of negative y cubed uh, plus 4y squared plus 4y dy. And then we solve these integrals and we get the following. Uh, negative 1 over 4 um, a to the power of 4 plus 4 over 3 uh, a to the 3 uh, plus 2 a is equal to um, negative 1 over 4 times 2 to the 4 uh, plus 4 over 3 times 2 to the 3 uh, plus 2 times 2 squared um, 
minus negative 1 over 4 a to the 4 plus 4 over 3 a to the 3 plus 2a squared. Okay, so I plugged everything in, and this side has less terms because there's this zero here which cancels everything out. And so here there's a and 2, so that's why you see the 2 and the a terms. Okay, now we can simplify this um, to the following. Negative 1 over 2, a to the 4, uh, plus 8 over 3, a cubed plus 4a squared is equal to 14.66 repeated. Okay, um, so I just simplified the above equation. Okay, now we can solve for this, um, and this you can solve using a solver, um, and um, you get the following values of a. So a is going to be equal to either 1.4 six five meters uh, or um, six point four six three meters now we can see that this distance is bigger than the two meter distance l of this whole thing so that can't be an answer so that's why we scrap this one and we pick um this one here okay we pick that one because um, that is the only answer that fits be between the 0 and 2 meters, which are the bounds, the length of that um, plate. Okay, so now that we've picked, uh, or we've determined this distance A um, and this force F, we can do the, we can use impulse and momentum um, to solve for um, the final uh, omega. Okay, so this is um, what the impulse and momentum equation looks like. So impulse and momentum. This is what it looks like. Uh, so IP omega 1 plus the sum of integral from T1 to T2 uh, of MP dt is equal to IP omega 2. Okay, um, so what we have is since IP omega 1 is going to be made up of two components, um, the rod and the plate, because we're assuming that this um, barrier is made of a rod and a plate, we have two components, but we also know that omega 1 is 0 because initially it starts from rest, so we can just cancel out that term um, altogether. Okay, so this term goes out, um, and this is because omega 1 equals to 0. Okay, um, the second term we can't cancel out um, because we have a moment about P which is created by that force F. That's why we found F, and that's why we needed A. Okay, um, because so this first term is going to be equal to 0 plus the second term. This second term um, is going to be the integral um, from 0 um, to t um, of the radius, which is a, times f, okay, um, which is, which we calculated um, times dt, okay. Um, and then that's going to be equal to um, i, which is 1 12th m uh, b squared and then omega 2 which is what we're solving for okay um, so this integral we can actually compute because we have a and we have f we solve for both so a is a numerical value and f is in terms of t okay so we can integrate that with respect to t and um, get the following so we have the integral um, from 0 to 2, and this here is not 2 meters, this here is the 2 seconds, okay? So this is time, it's not um, distance anymore, because here we're integrating with respect to time, but it's again the same value, but two different 2s, okay? Times A, which is 1.465 um, uh, meters, uh, times F, which we said was 40 over 3, 
times the time, uh, dt is going to be equal to a 1 12th times m, which is 20 kilograms, uh, times b squared, which is 2 meters squared, times omega 2. Okay, and here we can directly solve for omega 2. Okay, so when we integrate, we get the following 1.465 meters uh, times 40 over 3. So 4 um, times uh, 1 half t squared evaluated at 0 and 2 um, is equal to uh, 1 12th times 20 kilograms times 2 meters squared omega 2. And when we solve for omega 2, we get um, the following 5.86 radians per second. And this is the final answer.